everyone. So some of us probably feel anxious in regards to the wealth transfer and, um, and you know, some, to some level of anxiety and uh, when, they, when they look at their um, assets, their cryptocurrency assets and managing things and sorting things out, putting the house in order. And, um, and if you're like me, you've probably had dreams that are a bit concerning. Like, for example, I've had dreams, um, a series of dreams where in the dream, it's like I missed out. I, was miss, I would miss out in the dream. So in this video, I'd like to talk about that. And um, in the end, at the end of the video, the conclusion of this video is to, um, is to basically for us to enter a place where we know that um, we've got everything according to how God has called us to organize things and then, um, and then to stay positioned, you know? So, um, so, so let's just go straight in. So like I've said, in my own case, I've had multiple dreams and, um, and in these dreams, I would be with my father, but in the dream, he doesn't quite look like my real dad, but he's my dad. And, um, and then I've got my siblings and then lots of my siblings. So some of them look like my real life siblings, but some of the people are, I, I don't know them in real life, but in the dream, they are my siblings. And then we'll be with our dad and then a messenger will come and say to my dad, oh, they're, they're here. And then my dad would get up and say, okay, let's go. And then he gets up and everybody gets up with him and he's heading through the, the gate and they open the gate and he apparently he, has, he had made provision of where we would be going. And then I suddenly remember that I needed to go and collect something. And then I go to collect that thing very quickly to join them. And then in returning, I can't find them, they've gone. So the rest of the dream is me trying to play catch up, trying to find where they are. Um, there's another dream. I mean, there's all these dreams, honestly. But what's happened is that in the last few days, my concern for these dreams got heightened to a place of anxiety, actually. I became so anxious last night, yesterday, that I really had to pray and pray and pray and thank God by his mercy, I, I um, hit a breakthrough because I wanted to know what is it that I'm missing out of. That, that had been my concern. What exactly am I missing out of? I, and, I, and the problem is I say to the Lord, Lord, I, if, if I don't even know what it is, how, am I, how can I correct it? You know, how can I fix it? I don't even know what it is. And like I said, I've, these, these are multiple dreams. I've only just shared one. But there's quite a few of them, you know. So what happened was um, I now believe that um, it's all to do with um, sorting out your, um, sort, sorting out, you know, your position, being in, in position and ready for the wealth transfer, basically. So, for example, in my own case, I did have some buy orders, but... I didn't have buy orders for all of my uh, Terra Luna, in fact, for, yeah, for all of my Terra Luna Classic, I, did, I didn't have a buy order for every single one of them. I had a buy order for a few, um, a fraction of them. And the rest were just there, were just in this uh, exchange or that exchange, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so after last night, after I felt that the Lord had given me understanding of uh, these dreams of missing out, I started to set things, set the buy order and things like that. So, um, so basically, if you're listening to this video and, and you're feeling already that you've been anxious um, as well, but in your own case, it's probably something different. It's probably something to do with connecting your wallet or... Um, or how much, how much of each coin should you allocate to the different price points that you have? Or, you know, it could be any, any different types of decisions that you're having to look at and it's causing you anxiety. I want you to remember that um, the Lord did say in the scripture that um, he said that um, in, 
uh, he said, in everything that we do, that we should um, basically um, approach it with prayer and supplication and he will grant us peace. And I'm just going to um, say that scripture. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And this is found in, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. So, um, since yesterday, I tried to um, do to put in a, a, a test by order, and the test by order did not fulfill. And it should have fulfilled because the, the price did reach. It reached the, 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 the price target that I had put because it was a test. So, obviously, I put a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, price target just to test it. But it wasn't fulfilled, so I contacted them uh, and um, I said, you know, does this thing work? I, I just want to know, how does this thing work? And so they sent me, um, sorry, in the conversation, it was a, um, a chat. I was having a chat conversation with them. And they basically explained to me, they, they said, I'll just read it out. It says, so generally speaking, the orders are not 100% guaranteed to be executed once the price reaches the target price. I think we all know that, everybody knows that. But anyway, he goes on to say, it depends on the liquidity provided by the trading team. If there is not enough liquidity, the orders will not be matched at all since there is no partial fill-in target price feature. And then the guy goes on to say, he says, uh, even if the price has been reached, liquidity is important. And if there is not enough, the order will not be executed. Also, there is a no partial fill of the order, meaning that the Luna, Terra Luna Classic, for example, should be sold at once. And then he goes on to explain to me what liquidity in cryptocurrency means. I remember a few weeks ago, somebody had left a comment talking about uh, liquidity and this and that. They, they said they described it exactly like this. So we know that um, when, when we know that we need to really position ourselves even in the area of the buy order and the sell order, we need to manage it in such a way that things will be filled, that, uh, that those um, orders will be fulfilled, you know. So, for example, you want, you're thinking of maybe putting them into smaller chunks, you know. I've heard someone discuss this in one of the, the comments, uh, in, in one of my videos in a comment uh, some time ago. Um, they were basically saying to put them in small chunks, you know. And now I see the point of that comment, you know. And, uh, and I just want to say thank you for all the comments, you know. It's amazing because in these comments I learned so much, you know, and... I'm sure a lot of my viewers learn so much as well, you know. So I thank God for the community that we have. But anyway, carrying on. So basically, the thing I want to say in this video, because while I was praying, it was so in my heart to uh, do a video and to just say that um, let's, do not let anxiety or fear over, overwhelm you or overtake you, you know. Instead, draw, push all of that towards God. Follow the example I shared with you yesterday. As I shared with you the, what I told you I did yesterday. For after all, I do have a testimony. I, the Lord did answer me, you know. I, as, as a matter of fact, when I started to, to put in those cell orders, I started to feel a sense of peace in my heart. I started to feel a settling and I started to feel that I've reached, that I, I've, uh, I've, um, I've hit a breakthrough, you know. Now, I don't know if those dreams of me missing out, if, if, uh, if, if, I've, if that's all the meaning of those dreams, maybe I, I, I still feel I need to pray a little bit more and just make sure that I haven't missed any, anything else with those dreams because I know that um, when the Lord says something in dreams to me, 
um, I've, I mean, I've, I've seen the seriousness of it, you know. So I know that um, it's not a case of, um, oh, well, you know, God loves me so much, so he's never going to let this happen. Well, it's not like that, you know, because uh, there is such a thing as self-will, you know. Sometimes the Lord will give warnings and give warnings and even bring help, send help. But if, if it goes over my head or if because of pride or... Um, uh, what do you call it, laziness or can't be bothered or whatever or trusting man, that's the big one. That that has been the big one in, in my past where um, I, I had a really bad situation even though the Lord was speaking to me about those situations in a dream. You know, so basically the point I'm making is um, I, I still need to press in to make sure that I haven't missed anything else with all these dreams of, of me missing out. For, I, for after all, I do know and I understand the seriousness um, that when God shows you something in a dream and if you don't take heed, sometimes this, the, it's, it's, it's really quite serious, the, the result of it, you know, and, and, um, and you really do wish you can go back, you know, you really feel, I wish I can go back and change it. I wish I could go back and do this and do that. So I'm saying all of that. I know it's serious what I'm saying, and um, but I am saying all of that to call you to a place of take it seriously. Take both hands and pretend you're holding the bull with, but with both your hands, you're holding the horns of the bull and you're saying, I'm not going to let this thing go until the Lord has dealt with it, you know? And the bull is shaking and you're holding it strong and you're saying, I'm not going to let this thing go. And it's, it's pouncing and it's bouncing, it's moving you from left to right and you're holding tight and you say, no, I'm not going to let this thing go. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm anxious, I, I have this, these situations, I have that and that and Lord, I need you to come through. You have to come through because you've called me to this and you've promised that you will never leave me nor, nor forsake me. And that, you know, and, um, and, you know, like Job, you say, my Redeemer lives, you know. Uh, you're not a child that's an orphan. You're not a child who, who doesn't have a father. You're not illegitimate. You know, you have a Lord and a Savior who purchased you with his precious, his precious blood. So, um, you know, I feel that the Terra Luna Classic um, to, um, coin is, is going to be taken off soon. I feel the takeoff is imminent and uh, the Lord's uh, giving me that dream with the, the banana dream and I'm now convinced that the banana dream is the is Terra Luna classic. So I'm going to make a separate video on that and, um, and share with you my understanding of that dream and um, the interpretation that I believe the Lord's given me and um, and why, and, and in, in, in that video, I will make a case that um, it's imminent, you know. Um, but we must put our house in order. So put in those by orders, okay? Prioritize doing that. Um, yeah, just prioritize doing that for every single part of, the, of, of your Terra Luna classic coin. And perhaps all of your crypto coins, you know. Um, because I'm starting to understand this whole thing about the Red Sea, you know, um, when the Red Sea moment happens, you're not going to have the chance. So I think the Lord in his, you know, the chance to do this or do that, um, a lot of people will miss out if they're not prepared, basically, um, is the point that I'm making. So, um, so I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's uh, giving you strength, you know. I hope it's nudged off fear, you know. Let fear be pushed aside and let strength arise, you know. Knowing that you're well able to do it. You're able to do it. We're, adult. we're, we're adults, you know. We're not kids. We can do this, you know. Honestly, we can do it. So, um, so yeah. So, anyway, be strengthened in the might and in the strength of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in another video. Bye. So one more thing. Yeah, so I just want to say, this is not a financial advice, okay? And I'm not a financial advisor. All right, I'll see you all in another video. Um, hopefully a live stream soon. So um, 
take care everyone bye